This afternoon, the Lady Billikens took on Bradley. It was the Sierra Harbison show. The Lightning Quick Junior scored all over the court. On her way to a career high 25 points, slew wins 65 to 54. Lisa Stone has a squad. They're now 2 0 on the season. Hey, I don't care who the slew men were playing last night. The bottom line, for the first time in a quarter of a century, they went over the century mark. The Billikens 107, Arkansas Pine Bluff 54. Billikens insanely efficient. 65% from the field, 64 from three. They're now 3 0. The happiest man on the planet is Dr. Richard Shavitz, a slew grad who's given $27 million to the school, a big booster. He loves basketball. We chatted earlier this week. Do you actually get to attend games in your own building during COVID-19? I would hope to get to some games, but right now it does not look good. I'm optimistic, you know, with the, with the vaccine coming and uh, better ways to treat uh, this crazy virus that at some point, at least before the end of the year, I'll get to see some live games. Take me through your game watching experience. If the games aren't on TV, are you just watching on a computer screen and on the edge of your seat? You know, I watch on my couch with my wife. I have a big TV and I don't miss uh, any time. I, I get into it and I'm screaming probably as loud as I do at the arena. So I probably look like a lunatic, but uh, it is what it is. I'm pretty excited. You're a living example of dreaming big and seeing your dreams realized. Are you dreaming and you really think like the final four is a possibility with this team? I actually do. I mean, I think... Uh, in, in all my time at SLU, I think this is the best team talent-wise we've ever had. And we've had some great talent and we've had great coaching. And, you know, obviously Travis is right up there. In terms of importance, how do you balance your life in terms of your profession and your passion for Billiken basketball? <laughs> well, I think most people would say my passion for Billiken basketball is about as equal to everything else in my life. Um, I, I love the school and it's right up there with all my passions and interests, and it will forever be uh, right up there for me. I'm wondering if you have one or two good exchange stories with referees, because it seems like you have a running dialogue with a yeah. lot of them. Oh. It's not a foul. I'm, I'm very careful what I say. I scream, I'm loud. I'll say I don't agree with the call, but I'll never curse. I'll never criticize them personally or anything like that. I'm, I'm very careful about it because I think that's wrong. I don't, I don't think it's the right thing to do. But I don't think there's anything wrong with expressing your enthusiasm. And if you disagree with a call, saying you may have missed it or watch this or pay attention to the fouls on the other side. And, you know, like I know the rules. You can warn me, but you can't kick me out unless I cross the line. And I'll never cross the line. Has there ever been a time where you're walking into the building or you're pulling your car up and you see shave it serena you think, oh my goodness i got a building with my name on it i'm so proud i'm so humbled by it i'm so excited by it and it's still very hard for me to believe and i don't take it for granted but you're not going to pull the naming rights card and demand to be allowed into a game this season unless you're actually allowed huh i'm not going to say hey look my name's on the building i think i should come in before you let anybody else in i just don't think that that's right and that would breed a lot of resentment, and, and I think it's unfair, quite frankly, so I'd never do that. He's just the coolest guy on the planet. He's got all this money, but he honestly loves the players. He loves <laughs> Travis. All he wants is the Billikens to win every game. He's really cool.